Okay, I want to take a minute and I want to share the views with you. I mean, you can see their amazing views. No, show them the views. The views. No. There they are. The views. Let me take this thing. Sometimes the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. RMBL, riding my best life. Hey, morning. It's me, Jason with RMBL, and I'm going to do a quick little turnaround and kind of show you what we've got going this morning. Beautiful snowy mountains in the back, and then the sun is coming up behind me. So there's a freeze thaw cycle out here. Um, there's a lot of moisture in the soil, even though we're in the desert. You know, once it rains and starts to snow in the wintertime, it thaws out, it goes in the ground. It doesn't really go away. It doesn't uh, evaporate as quickly as we would to get the dust we ride here in the summer. But it's important to get out while it's cold. It's 29 degrees. We do a couple, uh, you know, quick miles out here. Maybe get six or seven miles in this morning. By the time I'm done, the sun will be up and it'll start to thaw, but we'll beat it. So, but it's important to remember that uh, these these guys put a ton of time and effort into building these trails for all of us to ride. And if we go out and we ride on them when they're muddy, you know, it, it ruins them for everybody else. So we're out to ride here and not to slide here. So ride on firm and fast and enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ride. Pointed the trail in front of me. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it is frozen, which is good, but rutted. You can see multiple, multiple people didn't get the freestyle cycle. And those knuckleheads are ruining it for everybody else. All right, good morning. 2.2 miles in. As you can see in some of that footage I'll put on here, the, uh, the trail was really rutted up from guys riding through mud. So hopefully we can keep these frozen conditions. It's still 29 degrees. The sun is starting to come up and we're on a trail called More Cowbell. And it always reminds me of that awesome Saturday Night Live skit for the Need More Cowbell. This is it. One, two, three, four. Well, that's what my mind automatically goes to when I see the trail More Cowbell. If you haven't watched that skit, I highly recommend it. Christopher Walken was amazing, and Will Ferrell absolutely stole the show. We need more cowbell. So if you're new to my channel, then this might just be something you're into, but for the most part, this isn't the kind of trail that I ride. I'm normally going to ride something faster and downhill with big chunky rocks in it. But I like to come back to this trail every once in a while to just revisit my roots. This was one of the first trails that I ever rode when I was new to biking. And I still remember how beautiful I thought it was. And it was actually hard for me back then. You know, there was a little bit of climbing here, but there's not really anything that I would even consider that much of a climb now. Um, the cliffs actually scared me a little bit. I was afraid that I might crash and go rolling off them, but you're really not anywhere near them. Um, but this is a good way to pedal. I've been cooped up in a trade show for the last six days. Didn't even get to see the light of day, and this was a good way to just get back on a bike and stretch the legs and, and get ready for maybe a bigger ride on Saturday. I don't know if you noticed, a little different riding position where my thumbs are today. I was given a pair of the uh, TOGS, which is a thumb over grip system, and they really are good for this cross country style and even some climbing. I'll go into more on that in a bit. We've reached the top. Whew. All right, so we've reached, reached the top. I want to take a minute to kind of show, show the views. Over here, you can see we've got Zions. No, show them the views. Don't look at me. The views, please. Come on, we're trying to do a show here. Views. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have Zions over here. Then this over area over here is Virgin. And then we've got Hurricane. And then St. George is way off to the right. So, pretty cool place. Up behind me is what we've got, the Gooseberry Mesa Trail, which is pretty famous. And then down below me, is a straight drop so you don't want to go there but this is a really cool trail where they actually set up benches up top for people to come rest 
Like I said, it's a cross country trail. I'm only 3.4 miles into the morning. Um, it has warmed up, it's about 31 degrees, so I gotta get moving so we don't have uh, the thaw cycle where we're gonna ride in mud. So this was more cowbell. I'm gonna finish up with more cowbell, jump on the lower gym, fall all the way down to where I parked, and uh, call it a good morning. So again, look at those views. All right, so let's finish out this little cross country leg. As I was saying, you notice that my thumbs are in a different position than normal. When I was on the ride with the Zen group, I met the owner of Togs, and I'm like, Togs, what's Togs? And it turns out it's one of those products that I've always known I needed, but didn't know existed. So when I ride my bike, especially cross country or uphill, my hands and thumbs get really tired. Part of that is I've got arthritis in both my hands. And uh, I always want to put my thumbs up over the grips, but I'm afraid of slipping off. And this actually has some little hooks and I'll go into detail more with them later on the video, but they're thumb grips. Just allow me to latch my hands over. No more fist grip and it's very comfortable to ride so thanks togs so if you'd like to know more go to togs.com t-o-g-s and i do plan on doing a more in-depth video i just threw these on over the weekend and thought i'd give them a try today I want to do a, you know, a few more rides with them and then I'll give you an honest review of how I think. But so far, so far so good. I really feel really comfortable with them. It wasn't uh, much of a learning curve to learn how to ride with them. Pretty easy actually. If you remember this from previous videos I always struggle with this switch back here let's see if I can make it there we go probably wasn't the prettiest technical but I made it and this one is a little bit easier So the rest of the trail is pretty much downhill from here. This is the kind of things that you're used to seeing me ride a little faster and flowier. This one doesn't have the chunk that I like, but it is a little chunky today because somebody left a bunch of ruts in the trail, as I mentioned earlier, and it does really affect the flow of the trail. But I still had a great time, still love this trail, and I recommend it to anybody that comes out. It was amazing to me on how much the ruts in the trail do slow you down. This is one of the faster sections of trail that I like to ride and I just didn't feel like I really ever got up to speed today.
want to do a couple quick takeaways from today's ride one freeze thaw cycle i keep saying it if it's frozen ride it if it's muddy don't if you get on a trail that's frozen when you start and it warms up and it starts to get muddy turn around or get off it as quickly as you can don't leave big ruts for the next guy everybody needs to enjoy these trails so don't be a knucklehead don't slide around get off the trail go home and get on your couch just for this day when it's muddy rmbl riding my best life and i normally would remind you to get off the couch and get out and ride but that's only if it's not muddy <laughs>